It's been a long trek, but we've finally arrived to this location. This place is known as the Condor Cave. I'll tell you, this is really fantastic. And so I'm really excited to see what we can find in this overhang, this cave-like area. I've never been here before, and we're both going to see the same thing together as I'm filming here. I'll tell you, I can feel the presence of the ancients right here. So let's go in and let's take a look. I'll tell you, this is really fantastic. There's no grand panels here, but I can see right over here at the foot of this cave, right over here, some pictographs. So let's take a look, my friends. Well, luckily I have my zoom lens here, and I'm going to bring us in to these fabulous pictographs over here. Now, the interesting thing about the pictograph, right here on the right um, uh, wing, so to speak, we can see what looks like a warrior, a man with a shield. But if you look below the man with the shield right here, let's follow him down right there, you can see a trail leading down under him right there. Do you see that? And so you can see that the wing has actually been painted over the bottom portion. Very interesting. And look at that. There you have it. That is the famous Chumash salamander, so to speak. Now, if we pan to the left, you can see another figure here. It looks like a big insect or like a frog with, uh, with big, uh, I guess, antennas to the front. And again, to the left, we can see some other figures right there. And again, you see this figure here in white that looks like an insect. It could be a salamander also. Hard to tell. It's speculative on my part, but they are beautiful. This was well worth the trek to come up here. Now to the right of this uh, pictograph, we can see another figure right over here in white. Let me zoom in on that figure right here. There we go. Can you see him? Again, uh, this is another figure that has arms and then you can look at the head and it, the head looks like it has big ears. Could this be a bear? There are plenty of bears in this area. Or to say, speculative on my part, but there you go, take a look yourself. Now from this condor pictograph, as we pan to the right of this shelter, this cave, this overhang, we can see on the right side of the wall a small hole. Can you see it right there? I'm going to zoom in on that place right there as we come closer. Now the interesting thing about that hole in a wall, so to speak, there's a good possibility that that is also some type of symbol. That could be actually a solstice marker. In other words, at certain times of the year, the sun will shine right through that onto a spot on the floor of this cave or the wall across to the left. Well, friends, this is the shelter area right here. And this is the wall where we saw the hole, which I thought could be a solstice marker. It's right there where my finger is. So let's go to it. Let's follow it. Let me kneel down in here. Can you see it? Okay. 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get back there, okay. And I'm gonna zoom in and let's see where it takes us to. Well, friends, I was outside the condor cave and I was looking at the stones on the ground. And I saw this piece right over here. Now, this is really interesting. This is called hematite. This is the stone that was ground down and mixed with oils and used to make the pictographs. Let me show you something over here. Look, you see that? You see this right here? So anyways, this stone, this hematite, was ground down and as I said, mixed with animal fats to create a binder and maybe other uh, plant material to create the paints and the pigments that we see here at the Condor Cave.